Hello to my God Reader fans, my loyal subscribers, children of all ages and viewers all across the world. You're rocking with B Tactics. No cam right now. Just wanted to give you, you know, some tips that I wish I had when I first started playing this game. So I already went to the terminal. This was important for me, right? So you know you can choose a loadout and you can choose what type of weapon. Uh, I made a secondary character. Um, you can, you know, choose whatever type of weapon you want, right? But when you're looking at the damage types, you know, this is like, am you got the amulet, you know, all amulets. You got the knife, which is, you know, the short blade, the blade, the long blade, the buster, the buster, maul of the hammer, lance, you know, the, the spear or charge spear. Uh, we got the scythe, you know, dual wield, and I forgot the name of this thing. But, you know, you get different uh, choices of weapons, right? Now, as you notice, each one has, like, you know, different attributes. Like, right here, it says Slash and Crush. Slash is universally good. So, if you can have a weapon that has Slash, you'll always be able to do some sort of damage. Okay? So, just, just keep that in mind. Slash is always good. Hammer is good against, you know, bulky enemies that have, like, shields on them. It's really hard for me to tell, you know, what, like, you know, to tell you, like, what has shields on right now. Like, normally, if it's, like, a four-legged creature... And, like, they move around. They don't seem like, you know, they're robotic. Like I said, it's really hard for me to explain. But, um, pierce damage really only does damage, like, once you break the part. But I'm starting to feel like crush just helps you, you know, break it in general. So, like, any enemies you're fighting, if you just use crush until it's broken. You'll still do extra damage because it's broke. But, like, I think pierce really do, like, maximum damage once the once it's broken. But slash is good universal damage. So if you're looking for damage, I honestly would say, uh, eh, probably go long blade, maybe. Uh, the buster does damage. The hammer does damage. Or you see, let's look at the melee attack. You see it clearly does damage. Uh, scythe can do damage. Dual blade and the amulet ring. Because they all universally have, you know, slash and crush. Um, but hey, don't feel like none of these weapons can do damage. Like they just all do damage like naturally. But those like the real like heavy hitters, you start putting like extra slash and crush. But you know, when you break any anything, the spear you you notice a lot of damage comes out. Sword can do a lot of damage. My person does it because I use mine more for debuff, but it can do damage. All these weapons can do damage. You just spec them out right. Some of them have more damage than others, but universally, you know. Slash is going to be good to have for damage and crush. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing weapons. I'm not the master of this, by the way. I'm, I just got into God of the 3. I'm still learning to this day. Uh, you can choose these uh, ground jump stuff. It's like when you devour, you want to devour a lot, okay? I'll actually tell you when we actually get into a fight, devouring is very important, and you can actually help others do damage. Most people do not, but you can. Um, you can just choose these. You can level them up. They're going to be, quote, you know, best for you. Not really the best in general, honestly. But some you clearly know there's one does more damage than the other, but you can't land a hit. You can't land a hit. Uh, with the guns, guns are important. I actually made a bullet. It's just called New Bullet right now, but I use this to heal. Uh... Can I customize this again? Oh, okay. Edit bullet. I right, this is my heal bullet. I'm actually going to... I don't want small. That's the, That was the problem. I'm like, that's not really healing that much like I thought it would. So I go, I'm going to go medium. Oh. So I can have 20 of these bullets to actually shoot and heal. There's a good amount of healing. I don't really want to be a healer per se, but you know, someone low in health, throw it on a on a person, anybody standing nearby. They'll uh they'll get the heal. Oh, I should actually show y'all. Nothing really serious. This is a nice bullet for you know new players to have. And it's great because it doesn't use um OP. A lot of people really get, you know. Not used to trying to use OP, so they don't really use the gun because they run the OP and have to go melee and just forget to go back. 
All I have is on heel shot, homing heel, heel bomb, and you can click in here and you go when it when one hits. So sometimes I'm, I'm hoping it if it hits the enemy, it will still you know have an AOE heal, so it still heals everyone around the enemy. I'm hoping. I could be wrong, but I'm hoping. Right. Um. As far as shields, they have different ways of opening. So this has. The um the buckler is the quickest type of shields, right? Um, shields are you know uh just uh it's not the fastest but not the slowest. It's like the in between, and the tower has you know the most amount of defense, but it you know it's the, it takes the longest to uh to activate. I personally like using shields or bucklers and tower shields, but I'm trying it anyway. Um. Engage effects, you actually get those from doing um, um, the eight man raid. I forgot the name of it right now. I would advise we do the eight man raid, it's great to have. I only have like two other things you know, heightened senses, experience perfect guard window. Good for, I guess, it'd be good. It's trying to be a tank, and then you have skydiver. I just have it because you know, <laughs> dive speed, distance, and attack by 20%. That's nice. So it helps you, you know, be all around damage. For now, at least. Warlord, I'm just, I don't know why I have this on. These are things that's good to upgrade. Like, you probably see, like, question marks. This is, oh, we need this to upgrade. Just try to get anything you can to level two. Just so you can unlock everything else. Speaking of it, see, I have Warlord. I'm gonna use, I'll use Phantom. Getting vulnerability at the start of a step. Eh, am I really gonna be stepping a lot though? I don't know. We'll, we'll use we'll use devour speed by five because it just says link burst. We're just trying to unlock something else. It's easy to do, and I got and it'd be great because I'm gonna show you guys how to do link burst rounds anyway. Uh, items really good to have too. Never overlook your items. In the beginning of the game, items will appear to seem expensive. But you'll start getting cheaper later on. You can buy from someone as well. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you guys something. Oh. As far as your allies, you get AP, right? You want to get them focused and pep tone. You want to max it as fast as you can. I have recovery and heal on Hugo. I should not have focused on that yet, but I did. Just like clear, I shouldn't have put healing bullet large already. Because it's really important just to get pep talk and focus. Just so whenever they go on mission with you. They get the maximum AP they can get, so they can quote level up faster. The higher their um, the the more AP you have, the more um skills you can buy. Example, right? Um, let's go to Hugo. Uh, if I don't know, let's go to Claire and go. And I say, I want something else, right? I can afford things, but you know, if I I could burn out the money, then I'm gonna hold on to it. Why am I holding on to it? It's just because I just want to get focused. So increase AP gain. I'd rather have a level three than a level two, right? Of course. I'd rather have a level three pep talk because increase AP gain by the whole team. So if you're running with like, you know, three bots, and three bots have this on, the other two are gonna get, you know, the bonus. I don't think this works for the actual character. Oh no, it says the whole team. Never mind, I'm lying. But you see it says increase AP gain, then it goes the whole team, so everyone on the team gets AP. It's great. It's just so you don't have to, you know, grind missions over and over and over just to level them. It's not going to feel like a grind for them. They're just, just going to level. That's what I'm doing right now. So I do advise, I mean, there's going to be some favorites you have. Like, I like running a lot with Hugo because um, he's my tank. I know others say he's not really good for tanking, but his engage, when you activate it, when he hits an enemy, he gains health. So he has he has like sustainability naturally within him. And he normally says a lot from he naturally gains health from leveling too. So he naturally has tankish things for me. That's why I put him as my tank. But hey, use them how you feel like they're best for you. There's no best way. If someone else telling you they got the best way, hey, congrats to them. They they found it. I ain't got it. All right, so I'm a, I'm not going to use Zeke. I'm going to use Fiend. I want to use some Fiend. So I'm going to go Hugo, Claire, and Fiend. 
I just want to let y'all know now that y'all that y'all think um, Ricardo is a healer. I mean, truthfully, naturally, he's not. He actually uses his gun to attack. So just just keep that in mind. If you want him to heal, you're really gonna have to like put you know specs on for him to heal. But he's not naturally a healer. He, he does he does long range damage. If you want it, now there's gonna be some monsters that are weak to things too, different elements. Put that element onto him so he'll use it. And having informant helps him do more damage too. So you know, oh, this person's weak to this. I'm gonna constantly use this bullet. <laughs> I wish you you had to worry about that on him, but you don't have much of a choice. Time to move out, team. Hopefully Ricardo gets a little bit of a uh some assistance. Okay. I don't wanna I don't wanna go straight in. I'ma just shoot him once. Ooh, wait, hold on. I think he's weak to ice, right? So I'ma shoot him once. There we go. Oh a lot of fiend going in first. Oh never mind, shoot him now. <laughs> So I already use a devour. Devours help you do more damage, and it gives you um, moves that you normally wouldn't have. Like you have, I have, I'm using the dash right now, and when I dash up this triangle, I don't have that move normally. And I have two link burst rounds. I only hit one. Link burst rounds are really important for uh, other teammates. Like I'm, I'm over here just trying to use that move over and over just so I can level it up. I forgot the other move I have, so let's look right now while the enemy's fighting me. Uh, lethal flash. Okay. So when I devour, see that level one nothing to me now, and someone just gave me a bullet, so now I'm at level two. Okay, so now I have light and I can devour a little faster. Oh, that's cool. I didn't have that. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to destroy this thing on top as fast as I can. I forgot about that. Oh god. Then you get clear another uh bullet. Yeah. The higher level you are, the more the it's, it's universally like more offense and defense. So I mean it always benefits you to have it. And yeah, I'll be honest with you guys. Normally when you when you um give it to somebody else, they don't help you out. They look like yo, I'm just gonna do damage. You see that now? I just I just buffed with Hugo. I just uh used the um first with Hugo. Well engage with Hugo. Not because I engage with Hugo, if I devour, he gets to devour too. If I buffed him, he would get the buff. Or use a single item, he's not gonna get that. That's something else. I ain't got that. Why did I break that? But it's still there. Make sure I get my devour. Oh no. Okay, looks like I heal. See, I'm devouring right now just because I want to keep that up. Okay. We've got Fiend uh, rank 2. Oh. I just burst with Claire. So now I can actually hit Claire with a bullet and I can boost myself now. You can't throw the bullet on yourself if that's what you think. It'd be nice though. Because <laughs> sometimes nobody will buff you. There is something called Predator, so if you like give someone else like three Link Burst rounds, as long as you devour it, your own, um, your Link Burst will go up. Ooh. Also, um, if you see like an AOE being done, if you block, like you can't get hit with it again. You're gonna get hit with it once. 
Well, at least most of them. Let me not lie to y'all and say all. Okay. And with Fiend, I like Fiend because she has healing life. There we go. Oh. Come on, Fiend. See, see right there? I was getting low. I didn't devour. Instead, I just threw a uh, Link Burst on that Fiend, and it went up. Why? Because I'm Link Burst. Okay. I'm not going to keep standing on him like he can hit. Just shooting him. The gun is safe to use. Now, I'm not saying it's, it's always going to be the best to use. Nah, I switch back and forth. Only because when I use the gun, your stamina can go back up. So it's like you can do damage without having to worry about trying to get stamina. Especially you use like the uh, the daggers. Or any weapon that uses a lot of stamina, the gun actually saves you a lot. Hold on, I'm gonna be right here. Here we go, we broke it. That's what I was trying to break, right here. There we go. You want to break the monster as much as you can, at least at low tier, just because it helps you. It really does help you get more money. More items, more money. Even later on, you want to break the enemy as much as possible, because there might be some parts you may need in the future. So even if like, you use a spear, I get it, you do more damage against, you know, the parts that are broke. But you want you want you want that uh them extra items because look I'm gonna show you at the end of this right. Oh uh, by the way this is how my bullet works right. So you see uh theme I'm gonna hit theme and watch Claire get healed because it's AOE. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> oh I hit theme and she ran off and Claire didn't get it. <laughs> my bad for making this a long video. You saw they all got like 95? Okay, see see this right here? You get automatics. You see complete with six endurance. I didn't die. That's, those are like, um, normally you saw the mission, you'll see like nine dots under you. You don't want to lose those dots. Because you can get like an extra item, right? Break origami bonds two plus times. I broke two parts, so you gave an extra item. It doesn't look like a lot now, but in later missions, it is a lot. Where I got a victory war, king oil. Because truthfully, you don't need much of things early on. I didn't get a plus one item. I was hoping I would. There we go. I love with that lethal flash. That's what I was trying to do. Upgraded lightning. Remember, got lethal flash too. Look, got new burst arts. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have no idea what's happening See, LB Attacker, here. Jester, Chemist. Now, there might be some things that are better suited for you. I won't lie to y'all. There's going to be things you're just going to you're gonna like more than others. But I do advise you to at least have it level two. Just because, you know, you never know. It might be that one thing you don't like, but at least it's something else you do like. Or something you thought you wouldn't like, and it ends up something you really like. We're about to arrive at HQ. I won't, I won't give y'all, you know, story and like that. My, my, my apologies, y'all. All right, so we completed the mission. Let's talk about upgrades and crafts now, right? Now, I have my twin blade to rank three. Now, you're probably like, how do I know it's rank three? It's the, um, the color of it, right? Oh, this is P3, so that might be obvious, too. But let's say I, was, I said, um, I want to upgrade Longsword. Let's, let's say Longsword. I don't want to upgrade Longsword. Let's say I want to upgrade, you know, this Admin Ring. I may want to actually use it, right? So is that, you know, the first tier? It says upgrades available. 
Now, there's two different types I can go to, right? Now, you see one that has more damage. So that's normally the best one you want to go to, right? More damage. But these, there's slots here, too. Now, slots, you can actually put things in. It might make it actually stronger. Like, I personally like going slots because that means I can always change my weapon around. It's not, I'm not just stuck with that damage in this set. Sometimes you might go, yo, you know, I want to get more damage. You can get more damage because of the slots. Um. Okay, see how this has light sleeper? Hold on. Let's, let's look at install skills first. Right, so let's say I want to install a skill onto it. You see health, venom. Just in case you're not sure. I don't even know what that says. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But this increased drop rates better for abandoned god arcs. So level five. So this is only level three. So unless you have another one that'd be like a plus two, it won't work. You got venom that gives you more damage per level. So right now it says grant melee attacks plus one venom. Um, it, it's not the higher the level, the more damage it does. It's the higher the level, the more you can get it to activate. All right, some act different like health. Raises maximum HP by five per level. So, you know, you see two, that, that's plus 10 health you get. Uh, you know, collector. You know, you know, it, it just, you know, gives you things that, that can help you. These are what the slots are basically for. So, we go back to upgrade. I mean, it's whatever preference you want. I mean, eventually you're going to make more weapons. The reason why I have not really made weapons, I'm just upgrading them. Because I don't know what weapon I want to have as far as like elementals. Elementals are very powerful in this game. Some just go with just one weapon, just neutral. Nothing wrong with that. Try to get your strongest neutral weapon and just do damage. I like elementals because it helps me do more damage on, you know, on certain monsters. And I can have like uh, extra slots to even burst, even like boost my damage even more. I can get something that can help uh, my teammates. Like for my sword, I have like... Venom, hold, bind. So like I can I can basically paralyze an enemy, stop enemies from using certain moves, and constantly have the health drain. Sounds good, right? And then with other teammates, they help me. So you know this is rank two. You see our on um, the other ones are, are colors. The colors would uh, you know signify like what rank you, you kind of have your your own um, things, right? So you see the green. That's that's a rank two. Because these other gray ones is rank one, right? I upgrade this to to three. Now I got a rank three weapon. Now it's good to have a rank three weapon right now. Well, see my shield? It was rank two, right? Upgrade it. Rank three. Um, so I'm at rank three, right? So everything's just question mark. Wanted to show y'all that, right? So let's say, um, you know, since I'm at rank three, when I hit rank four, I'll be able to upgrade them again. So when you get to rank four, you can upgrade again. You're going to want to uh, try to upgrade it, you know. You don't want to be like at rank five with a rank three weapon. You might be able to get by. But it's just, it'd be no purpose. Even though you you can probably make something at rank five, go, oh, that should be stronger. If you can if you can just carry um, a lower rank weapon to upgrade it, it'll be cheaper, less items you're using, so you don't have to farm as much. And you're... Stuck doing these missions anyway. Like, why not, right? Uh, anything else? Oh, you can actually look at weaknesses. This is something I did not know. Right, so you can go to Origami. Uh, let's say you're fighting the Kongu, right? You go like, dang, this Kongu would be beating me up. You can look at weaknesses. So even if, you know, you're playing multiplayer and someone starts a mission, you don't know what it is and they don't tell you what, you know, exactly what the monster is and the weakness, you can come to your database and just look. See, the break, and you can look at break, the uh, break area too. So the face, is going to be his face, you know, the torso, is actually just little pipes on it. You, but don't, you don't have to like aim at the, at the pipes, you know, you could still aim in his torso area. And it'll break. And then, you know, the tail, you break the tail. But that's why I, I just feel like it really dimmed down this one compared to, like, you know, the first God Eater. Uh, 
I think Slash is universal damage. Strike. I mean, um, is it called Strike? Or is it Bash? I don't know what it's called. What's it called? Crush. Sorry. So you do Crush until, like, you know it's broken. You'll still do more damage, but not, like, a whole lot compared to Thrust. Slash will do more damage once it breaks more than Crush, but I think when it's not broke, I mean, Crush will do more damage. Like I said, this, if you're not sure what you want to go with, it's never, it's never on the go with uh, Slash. And honestly, there's nothing really bad go with Crush. I think the, the um, if it has Pierce and Pierce only, mm, you're not going to feel, you know, as rewarded until, you know, a part breaks and you feel great. But it's not that, it's not bad though. I actually like Spear. I'm actually going to make it as my, um, my secondary weapon on my main character. But, uh, yeah. It's the Man B Tactics. I thank y'all all for tuning in. And, uh, yeah. I'm excited for the update. I've actually streamed on Twitch as well. I, I stream on Twitch, uh, DLive, Mixer. Uh, I don't know if I should start streaming on YouTube again. I, I was, but I stopped. Because I feel like uh, I'm just streaming on too many platforms. But hey, y'all want to see uh, more YouTube streams? Hey, uh, let me know. If you're a guy who's a player, um, and you want to see more streams on YouTube, let me know. But yeah, it's B-Tactics. I thank y'all for tuning in. Catch you on the next video. Peace out, everybody.